But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merc's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor. And the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah. We always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. Hmm. Split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it, for saving my life. Just doing my... Job. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill, and you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train.
He couldn't be. But then... You're not real. You're... dead. I, um... Uh... I killed you with my own... <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown, the earth so bright, the sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you, the shiver of her flesh, Yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. What's going on? <laughs> Whoever did this. Oh, Street, you want to head for the plaza with the fountain. The station's not too far.
that I went to? Don't let the intruder escape. What's the president got to say about all this? He must be close. Security's everywhere. The Mako won't leak, will it? No, no, no explosions! And everything shook a lot! The military's here, we're fine. Where's the mayor when we need him? ...ability to keep you safe and escort you to the shelter. We'll wait for the military. We should be fine, as long as Reactor 8 stays online. So Shinra didn't... The fires can't reach us here. This won't face Shinra at all. Good thing I stayed put. The mayor can do something they expect us to evacuate. After all those years of construction. Can we go home now? The bastards who did this should fry. The fire won't spread this far, will it? Don't let the intruder escape. No need to make it harder for yourself. I knew something like this would happen one day.
feeling something bad is going to happen. Along with the other guests. But we want to know what's going on. Better that than cowering inside.
too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. I'm good. Oh, don't be like that. I know you want one. When was the last time you saw a real flower, huh? Plus, it'll make your girlfriend's day. I guarantee it. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Enough already. I'll give you two gil for it. Two measly gil? For a real flower? Come on! Five, then. Please, that's not nearly enough. Besides, I clearly said it was on the... <sighs> You're trying to get rid of me for five lousy gil. <clears throat> Sorry, but your plan won't work. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell f- <gasps> Enjoy this. Get ready. It's over. Enough. Let's go. There he is! You're not going anywhere! HQ, this is Sector 8, Unit 4. We have eyes on the target. We need backup. I repeat, we're not going to all out. Here we go. See ya. Let's get this over. Was never in doubt. All clear. You! No more playing nice. Nothing personal. Let's do this. Not bad. Just give it up! Don't run! Take him! Time to dig deep. Box him in! Box him in! There's no way to run!
gotta step it up. Nothing personal. This cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. You think he's a keeper? To, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround? That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> hmm. Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. Station. We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. I just want to get home. 
so cramped. Everyone's on edge. Sorry to of course you. they are. Hey, Cloud. I am. Um, if you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Sheesh. You don't make it easy. Stop that right now. Should have gone to Sector Three instead. Do you mind? I'm trying to work here. Hey, got a sec? You see, my you're, daughter uh, now lives in Sector Holding up pretty well, so... huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector Eight. I'm a soldier. Wow, my hands a are still shaking. You get used yet. to it. Something to look forward to, or maybe not. <sighs> Just leave me alone, all right? Will her house still be there? You see, my you daughter now lives in Sector you? 8, so... Wait, what the... Nice oh, oh, that's weird. Little help, Cloud? Please? I'm sure I can't stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made no, shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. To it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. Yeah. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got... I just heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. <laughs> We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Them spiking words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Time for a little nap. Man, this train is slower than molasses, am I right? Calm down, it's just a sword. I didn't hear anything. You gotta believe me. Oh dear. Man, this train is slower than molasses, am I right? Time for a little nap. How much longer to the station? You gotta believe me. Oh dear. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. <sighs> Let's 
get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, ah. right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Apparently Shinra thinks it's dumb play he's only had it <sighs> It was like a giant candle. And Sector the 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. <laughs> You're such a kidder. Remember the last time I saw a real one? Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. The administration has issued assurances that they are... Uh... <laughs> hey! Uh. <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. All right, but just this once. Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. People who died all returned to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... 
chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. One of my friends so, said they saw it burning. It wasn't that bad? I thought reactors it was. Were oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare. But should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave... ...me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in.
What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Oh, we must buy a soul. My husband decided to go to the stage. What's gonna happen? Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Oh, he must buy is so cool! Holding position until nightfall. We'll report any developments immediately if observed. So they blew up a reactor so they could save the planet? What? Nothing to report. There will be life. There will be no way of life for anyone. Everyone I know said they could. The watch is saying If there's anything you require, please do not hesitate to ask. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. No more playing nice. Hold me back.
time now. Do your thing.
Get some rest. All right. If you're ready. Done, Cloud. I have compiled some rather fascinating data. Another battle awaits. Find me when you're ready. Cloud, I... I do hope you won't forget about me. Gotta admit, the watch is a lot more impressive than it was a couple of years back. What's gonna happen to me? Just so you know, 
Marlene's still asleep. <clears throat> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <clears throat> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. <clears throat> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why... No one will refuse to pay. What do you uh. say? Please. <sighs> well, let's get this over with. Great. And what? While we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Take your eyes off him! Snips the bone. Some creepy dude hit on me with this. All the items you could want straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget. Hey there. 
Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who is he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, baby. Huh? Cloud! Uh... Since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Nothing to tickle your fancy. If you change your mind, you know where I am. That goes for you too, Diva. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you can want, straight from the... He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Oh, can't help but take a little pleasure in their panic. More than a little. My husband decided to go to the station and see if it had gotten any better. Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa! My... Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You Watch is saying they're gonna step up their game. Five years, give wow. or take. Ain't they short-handed? Absolutely. But never mind but that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. The trains don't start moving again. We're gonna have enough food and other goods to go around. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? <laughs> hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? Yeah, okay. 
Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Bull. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. <laughs> All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But... You don't know the way, do you? We are. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, so close to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare, just in case. If there's anything you require, please do not hesitate to ask. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Step it up. It's on you. I got this. What? Yeah. Bring it. Yeah. You ready? Go. Enough. Don't think you'll walk away from this. There. 
good sweat. Extraordinary. Every fight brings me one step closer to understanding you. You are a mystery I simply cannot wait to solve. I sense a, a sudden surge of emotion in my future. <laughs> Who Wedge mentioned? That sword's massive. What does he sell again? Good luck, Sifa, and be careful. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. And there's our first challenger. Show me what you got, Cloud. Don't overdo it. That's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's do that. Deal with that. Let me handle Going this. Going all out. Look at that feels on you. My turn. Let's dance, asshole. Keep it together. All set. Finish him off. Gotta give it my all. No more. You're good at this. Charging in like it was nothing. You too. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, that one's gonna be on the test. This a lesson? Gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up. It's on you. Let me handle let's this. Let's dance, asshole. <laughs> let's do this. I think that might be the last of them. You won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. yourself to the other one. Tally of monsters playing has been updated. Got new numbers for monsters playing this month. Check them out. It's the little noises that work. It's you. You're the merc everybody's talking about. Am I? Yeah. I knew it. So, the board here, a bigger number. Just between you and anyway, keep up the good work. We'll try to make it worth your while. Can you believe how much safer our town has become? 
Don't go taking midnight walks through Strap Boulevard just yet. What? Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines! Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you gotta do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <clears throat> oh. You okay? <sighs> I'm fine.